People often ask how to stay sober through a breakup and there are of course things that you can do to ease the challenge of, of walking through this but I first want to acknowledge that breakups are painful. You know, even if you've only been with the person for a short amount of time, um, I think they're especially painful in early recovery. Um, I, I never f forgot, you know, those those first few breakups and I I think I was really struggling with the um, kind of the depth of feeling that I had now that I was sober because I couldn't uh, moderate those feelings in any way with alcohol or drugs. So um, it was really challenging and I, and I think, you know, I've been sober for over nine years now and breakups are still painful. I think what's changed is my ability to cope with them. And, you know, the tips that I would give you are to, to really process what's happened. You know, it's, it's important to, you know, you may have heard the phrase, sit with your feelings. And, and I think there's some truth to that. Um, if it's accessible to you, I'd suggest speaking to a behavioral health professional, a therapist, or, you know, some kind of mental health nurse to help you work through that situation. You know, the feelings that you're experiencing, what happened, um, you know, and the, um, you know, anything that you want to talk about, any confusion that you might have, um, can be really helpful to discuss with a professional because, it's done so in a safe way and they can help walk you through those feelings in the process of the breakup. And I think what's also important is to have other support networks. So, you know, friendships, um, people that you trust, uh, maybe spend a bit more time with them. So because you can you can end up feeling pretty lonely when you're going through a breakup. So, you know, speak to your close friends. Um, get involved in some activities that involve, you know, being out of the house um, and, um, you know, speak to a therapist. The other thing that I'd suggest is to maybe, you know, once some of the pain has dissipated, of course, is to journal about it. You know, maybe make a list of things that you learned from the experience. Um, I did a lot of work in my recovery around kind of a non-negotiables list and, and ultimately, I ended up having that through breakups. You know, I realized, like, these are some really strong boundaries for me. You know, I can't get over someone lying to me or um, cheating or, you know, something like that. So it's a real learning opportunity. And I know it might not feel like that in the, in the midst of the breakup. But, you know, on reflection, there's a lot of information there for you to work with. Um, and, you know, if you're in a 12 step program, there might be amends to be made. Um, but I think most of all, we need to be kind to ourselves, right? Use that information to learn how you can show more compassion to yourself, how you can take care of your heart um, and your feelings and, um, and nurture yourself until you feel ready to date again.